It's a tricky one to uh, to pick, that's for sure. I'm just glad Alchemist isn't picked. <laughs> you say <laughs> that just, 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 <laughs> yeah. oh, no, just as he picks it up. Wait, after seeing the Wisp now at the top lane, is going to return back to the mid lane, but it's no dig in here. We're going to put some extra emphasis on top lane. No stun. He's rotating. He's got, the angle. He's got the angle for the Fisher. He blocks him in beautifully. KD is going to be stunned against the three members, and Kaka is just going to look for an escape route as he picks up a TP scroll and is ready to go. But being as one sided as it is, and there's a very drastic difference now between our two offlaners, Kezu, is already level 4 and battling it out with these two heroes rather freely thanks to the farm he has. Meanwhile, top lane, KP is going to be gone on again as he's jumped by the Slark. He's going to be hit by the Sun Strike to finish him off. It's going to be Era who claims the last hit this time around. Yeah. Doom gets shut out, meaning the space creator from Newbie is honestly going to probably be how The Viper traditionally isn't a hero that really goes around, uh, gets out of his way to gank or anything like that. You right. just try to win your mid lane. Oh, another beautiful block there from Yapsor. It looks like Tuan is going to be in some serious trouble. Has an impale up in a second. He's just trying to stay ahead of Kezu at this point in time. Has to blow some of his mana. Two more mana and he'll be able to have an impale that might be able to save him against Kezu. Now Kaka's going to appear and Tuan will be fine. It's going to be Kezu goes down instead. Great response there from newbie Kaka at the right place of the right. To uh, have a large impact as we start going around Kill the bottom. 15 minute Go. mark. He's just going to be the time. Sets up the Chrono Spear. The follow-up abilities should be enough to burst out and down. As he goes down to about a 30 HP. He's going to be forced to pop his ultimate here, but he isn't going to be able to jump away in time. New, he didn't really have an escape. He could have gone to Koifa in the mid lane. So, newbie unable to do much there. And that made even worse by the fact that they blew the Spectre ultimate for it. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised that uh, newbie wasn't playing around that back. And on at bottom, he's going to get gone on. Doesn't really have help coming in as the Viper's gonna be the one to TP. Yeah, the Sun Strike's on mark though. Juan does go down. Kezu, a little bit low, but Moog doesn't really have that are a little bit more foreign to them that they don't know as much about. I mean, if you're able to call that kind of rotation, it seems like Newbie should be able to too. And yet they still get caught by in the mid lane. TP out from Yapsor. It's not gonna be enough though. The damage over time. Oh, he dies inside the fountain. So still a kill. That's where your timing's really gonna lie. It's just been slowed down a little because KP is more under farm than he typically is. Right, there's the Chrono Spear at the bottom lane. Ready to go with the Sun Strike. They the Fisher as well. They're going to pop the Cinderin ultimate just to make sure that How does in fact go down. Moose opportunity to be able to respond. Might be able to get a turnaround kill on a Kenzo and he does shortly before the time lock was ready to go. Still, the Horn lead, they're taking away How's ability to use the Haunt aggressively. Dyer's right. So, the bottom, is under there is a relocate opportunity, but they're going to be able to. Oh, nice tech. Maybe they're going down. Now the bigger dead turn around. Kenzo's going to get popped. Doesn't even manage to get off the Chrono Spear, and now the relocate comes in. Spectre pops that ultimate. They've already cleaned up the wizard. So they're going to go for Yapsor next, as How tries to chase down his enemy. KD's going to help him out by throwing out the Doom. Oh, Era needs some help, but unfortunately, the Wiz gets sent back at just the wrong time. Era is forced to use his ultimate to be able to survive. Move gets hit by the Sun Strike. He's dropping lower and lower. He needs some assistance, and here comes the Wiz. Just in time to be able to keep him alive. Era looking for two, but is only going to get one. Moo manages to survive, and that's going to be a wipe, leaving both Moo. Uh, they can't get aggressive. It means they're still trading. They're getting something out of the map, and they're refreshing their cooldowns. So Juan runs in, has stuff a Fort Spear, but they're still going to be able to catch up to Koipa with the dagger. He's going to look for a little bit of jump away, but goes wide by Kenzu. Respond. For the night, three man Chrono Spear, that's gonna be Kaka down first. Now they turn around, they impale as well. The finger death gonna be able to blow up Kazu. Looks like the Invoker was able to skip that. Here's their core. They've got the counter initiation of the IO and most importantly, the mech. There's no easy target. An opportunity just like this presents itself with the Shadow Blade. They're able to run into Arrow with the relocate ready to go. The attempt. Not even attempt, but it's a nice Cinderin's also going to be picked off as Tuan comes in with the uh, Earth Spike. So he was going to lead with the Yule Scepter. Actually, Radiant's that's probably what happened. Yeah. Because then he can close the distance and maybe get the chain stun Cinderin. Actually runs into two here, is able to get off his ultimate, but is it going to be enough? They've got the backup. There's no response from the rest of no diggity. Era just does the can at this point, making the best out of a bad situation. Continues for the push at the top lane trying to draw newbie away from taking objectives. Yeah, now newbie's just frustrating them around the map. He's going to be strong regardless of what phase of the game you're in or what kind of lead you have. So it's not like newbie necessarily want to go for the five man, but round two of going on the how. He does have the haunt up yet again. Kezu waiting and is now going to jump the Chrono Spear just in time to stop that TP. Spectre thinking that perhaps he could keep that, uh, that haunt alive by just TPing out. Newbie are going to respond in kind, though. They're going to get a pickoff on Kezu, it looks like, because they've got the Doom ready to go. And Kezu's not getting away, certainly not with that purge. Hey, Arrow's making his way up with the Doom down. This yeah. might be an opportunity for him. Juan's ready to counter an instant. No, he can get to 
Pierce by beautiful Hex in. Hera is blown up. Chuan set that up beautifully. He knew. He's like, okay, Kezu's dead. I don't need to do anything about that. All I have to do is wait for Hera to poke his head out. And I can get an extra kill. Of course, oh, bottom lane. Oh, they actually brought the Viper back. That was not the play. And Yamzu is ready to go. Maybe Moose is actually still good, though. The Deathly Blast is now in the spike. Again? They get both of the support, and Moose will survive through all of that. TP's away casually off of 300 HP. KP is about to get so much more. He's got another 2k gold on top of the boots of travel. Oh, uh, bottom yeah. picked up. How's gonna get gone on? Uh, he still has a haunt. He's gonna have to reality away somewhere, but doesn't see an opportunity. Everyone else is in the mid lane underneath the tier 2 tower. Sean, already down to 3k HP. They're just about to come in with Moo, though. They're gonna see Roshan about to die. It's back to pop that ultimate. Gives them all the vision they need. They actually have the ages, though. No. Era and managed to pick it up. Kezu drops the Chronosphere, zoning out the rest of Numi and catching Moo inside. But they're trying to pop it. It's just not quite enough. Meanwhile, Al goes for a quick takeoff, tries to TP out immediately afterwards, but Era is able to stay on top of him with the help of the Absorb. Oh, how actually getting a save there, and Swan comes in the perfect time with another disable. Era has to pounce himself over the trees to get out. And in the end, Newbie managed to make that Roshan fight work for them. There's still the advantage of an Aegis. Viper was on the very edge of it. Era had the opportunity, but instead assumed that he might die, I think, was the thought process behind that. But by killing the Viper, I think they open up a little bit more. Quite fucked. Gone. Deleted. Quite nice little item pickup for him. But still, I mean, Dig is in an okay position. Still have. Oh, they get the pound. Slow enough, how? That's the combination you need to see from no and Doom is not something you want to trifle with oh, in the late KP. game. He's got the angle. Yeah, and this is still an Aegis hero though. They want to make sure they can absolutely kill it. They're going to be able to do it with Alva Chuan. They should be able to get this kill and out before no Diggity can catch them. Or maybe not. Yapsor blocks him in with Fisher. KP doesn't have a way out. Four more seconds until the hiding. Waiting for the natural flow of the game where no oh, Diggity has a gem. They're going to see KP out. here. Oh, jump in. Angle slam immediately jumps. They're going to follow this up with the ultimate. They're going to try and save this fight, though. The Spectre Ultimate comes in. The after is already low enough. He managed to get off the Fissure, though, blocking in KP even further. So and they definitely got him dead. But is it going to be worse for no Diggity? They're going to be losing so many members, especially in Era. Tanks the Doom at the last second, which means he will fall as well. Three down for no Diggity. Chronosphere comes in, catching Chuan. They will get a second kill on this, but Newbie are still going to be very happy with this trade-off as is. Yeah, especially against Diggity's lineup. It shows so much of their damage being magical, especially from the two supports. Kaka, no amount of magic armor is going to save you from that, though. Koifa still outputs a lot of physical damage thanks to the uh, Lacrity and Forge Spirits. And they may try and take this fight mid. Oh, actually, Swan's going to be able to get the first half initiation on the Yaps, or he's done for. And Moo has been a lot, uh, and then all Doom when he was scouting. Oh, mid. They're showing everybody right now. This is a really good opportunity for Newbie. Yep, they're going to jump in, manage to get the stun out. Looks like they're going to focus on Hitter in first. while well, they do manage to get the Doom on the Koipa. So two heroes already down for no diggity. And uh, no opportunity to be able to get anything out but a quick kill on Swan. Right. Where you sort of need both and you can make the argument for either mm -hmm. the BKB or uh, the Lincolns. So what is going to be in the military? It yeah. usually means there's no one item that's really going to save the dude to get some chip damage there. But now the hard part begins. They actually have to uh, formulate some sort of defense. They're going to be giving up their tier 3 first. Looks like they're going to be waiting on the Aegis. Didn't have a fight around the Aegis and took a tower in exchange. That's not too bad. Oh, a bottom. They yeah, need this. Yeah, this got got high that is so bad. Kezu's obviously very, very dead. And Newbie can immediately start going high ground as soon as they get control the mid lane. Yeah. That's the hero that they're worried to run out, but I think they might have the angle for this. Yeah, they've still got him. KP is going to be ready to just blink straight up Doom. Kezu right before the time walk can go off. And again, the big high ground defender of No Diggity ends up falling. And immediately, look what No Diggity are doing in this. Abandoned ship, trying to stay ahead, has his pounce ready to go, but not going to be in time, it looks like. Pops the Manson trying to dodge some of that Infernal Blade damage, but now the Haunt is going to continue to chase him down. Doesn't look like they have counter vision available as Chuan is a bit too far away. So they used some abilities. They didn't have to use the BKB on the Slark. Uh, he's able to survive. Okay, never mind. Oh, that was quite fun. Most likely the Spectre, just because the Viper doesn't have slots, you're in a really good spot. 
They're, they might actually just push in mid, knowing that there's still 20 seconds left on that invoker. As a move at mid, you just want to buy back an arrow. Oh no, he's gonna be blown up by the finger of death. There's no response and no diggity. As Yapsor couldn't get a blink echo slam to uh, to stop that initiation from newbie. And now it looks like they're gonna have to give up a melee racks or full buyout here in the next few seconds. That doesn't seem to be happening. And Boker just now comes back up. Kazu makes his initiation. Two man chronos here. Here comes the buyback now from Era. But Sinner is already dead in the background. And Howe has taken no dent whatsoever in his HP pool. They did absolutely nothing to the two cores they caught inside of that chronosphere. And now we're really seeing just the danger. So much on the. You're seeing, seeing really the way that. Uh, that some of the Chinese scenes like New York. The initiation on Yapsor, gonna be able to get your spike into finger, follow up hex. AP was actually hoping to be able to get an initiation on someone else, but they already had to relocate onto Sinrin, so that's fine to clean up the uh Yapsor kill with KP. Hit two there, and ready to keep on going. How's struggling a little, little bit, trying to finish up Roshan fast enough that they can start going high ground because no DKD are pushing in the top lane. Trying to force newbie back as best as possible, delaying the push. Gonna pick off on a support or something, because I do not see how they're gonna be able to defend this unstoppable force of newbie. Chidi, Aegis, Ebite steps it and backs himself away. They're still waiting for how to push out the top lane. He's got the haunt ready to go, so newbie can actually fight right away. Yeah, they're just gonna go for it behind me. A seemingly impossible task ahead of no diggity. Gonna need the team fight initiation of their lives. Gonna start with Aira jumping onto Moon and managed to get the Silver Edge frog onto him, but there is going to be safe. Nice relocate in the back. They did get the Chrono Sphere, but only catches one. Looks like he's trying to catch the Wisp as well, but no such luck. Yaptor is gonna have to pop the Echo Slam shortly before he dies, but again, not really much of a den being put in how just keeps on going straight for Kezu. While the rest of No Diggity retreat back to their fountain as Newbie take full control of the No Diggity base. There's almost no, nothing that Diggity can do now without their two. Uh, big team fights, they're just going to call it at that point, but Ruby had complete control of the game for the last 20-25 minutes or so. Very cool, calm, composed play from Ruby there as they extended it into the late game. They knew they had the advantage. They, they knew they had essentially already won as long as they didn't make any mistakes, so they made sure to just build that advantage more and more. But it was really the early to mid game where Ruby managed to make their big plays. We saw the way No Diggity were gaining some control. Newbie finally got the read of the game and managed to respond appropriately. Yeah, if you're going to center anything, it's going to be that fight at bottom where mm -hmm. times of charm is Newbie turns that around. They were able to force Dig to fight under them into a Viper, but